Hi everybody. Emptied the kiln this evening. Got some nice results. Perfect cone six this time on the top and the bottom of the kiln. So we fixed the problem. So we've got two mugs here. The one on the left is Seamist over Chino. And there's an issue on the bottom. There's a little piece of the shelf. I gotta be careful with that sea mist. It's really drippy. And then the one on the right is that new Mediterranean mist over Chino. Very pretty. It dripped quite a bit onto the bottom of the mug, but it didn't hit the shelf. So I think it looks pretty cool. I could drink out of it. And then another faceted covered vessel, I guess you'd call it. Um, this is chambray over chino. I only did the chambray to the uh, about three quarters of the way down the faceting. And that's a handle that I saw on the internet. Um, David Kusick, I think that's the way you pronounce it. Thank you, David. I dig it. And I'm doing these I'm calling them my <laughs> bamboo series because I've got all this bamboo from these placemats I got at a yard sale. These look kind of kind of cool. They're five pounds and um, just a thrown cylinder with a little alteration here and there and a little uh, piece of um, accent added at the top at leather hard. This one is Mediterranean Mist over a uh, medium cork. Never, never used this combination before. It might not be very easy to see because it's evening, but it's a, sort of a gray blue. It's nice. I'm not sure I'm going to do it again, but it's pretty. And then these two I love. This is Sea Mist over medium cork. I did a quick experiment with it, last firing on that little pitcher, little handled pitcher, and I only got a little teeny bit of this nice orangey pole, and I got it again. <laughs> this looks like a keeper. I'm liking it. And this is a vase that I uh, do frequently. Um, I like the shape. I like the fact that you just thumb the bottom. And uh, what I do is not only add a little accent at leather hard, both on that one and on this one, but I also alter it. Can you see that line going down from the little piece of extra clay down to the bottom? I alter it. I, I give, give it a little push in with um, a piece of wood, and so it bulges out a little bit. Maybe. Maybe you can see it like this. Mm -hmm. well, sort of. It's always hard to capture what you do. I don't know, can you see that line going down there? I do it on four sides and then put a little piece of clay. Oh, look at that. That's kind of pretty. This one was jade over iridescent iron. Now in the past, I get this color this really nice olive green breaking to brown but with a full cone six <laughs> I didn't get that I may never get that olive green again unless I under fire on purpose not that this isn't pretty I like it it's just not what I expected So I have jade over iridescent iron. I have two with sea mist over medium cork. I have an experiment with Mediterranean mist over medium cork. I have chambray over chino. And then Mediterranean mist over chino. And sea mist over chino. Overall I'm very happy. I've got a date tomorrow to have a booth where I'm going to sell my pottery and do a demo. It's a place called Solomon's 
treasures, I think. It's in Venice, Florida, and uh, you can have a booth for about $37 for the whole weekend. Since it's so close to Christmas, I'm hoping that uh, I get some buyers. And I'm going to do some demos, which I'm hoping will also get people to come over to my booth. So, here we are, another kiln opening. Thanks for watching.